What's up, you beautiful collectors? This is Optobotomus coming at you with another video review. And here we go. Transformers The Last Night is almost here. And with it, some new toys. And today we're going to be taking a look at the first one, that being the new Premier Edition Deluxe Class Barricade. For the package, really cool looking. It reminds me a lot of the kind of box packages that we get very much like the Marvel Legend figures. As you can see, you got the Transformers name right there, Premier Edition. Down here in the bottom, you can see the logo for Transformers The Last Night. You got a really cool looking image of Barricade. And I absolutely love the way that that looks. And then you have an open window that fully showcases the figure as well as all of his accessories. On the side here, you got another image of Barricade, and it says that he's a sinister trickster, which is weird, I guess. Then on the back of the package, you got images of both his robot as well as his vehicle mode, as well as other figures in this first wave, that being Bumblebee, as well as Decepticon Berserker. And then when you come to the top, flip that over, you can see a really cool image of the Berserker, as well as Barricade, and of course, Megatron. There's a lot of figures that I'm really looking forward to in this new line, but also there's a lot of repaints with it. But uh, for the packaging on it, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Barricade opened up out of his packaging and in his vehicle mode. And as you can see, he once again is a police car. I don't know how well this is coming across on camera, and you can definitely see it there. But he's a much darker blue than what the actual packaging had. You can really see the difference in the blue and the black. This whole top section is black, and then you can see the blue on the outside. Really nice color, though. You got the uh, Decepticon logo with police. You have to punish and enslave, which I think they changed that on the new one. Uh, and, and he seems like he's... Uh, a type of Mustang, I guess. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but uh, this is a new mold for him. You got a really aggressive looking front grille here. You got some lighter blue painted here for the headlights, and then you got the red and blue here for the kind of police lights. You also have that light bar here on the top with blue and red, and then you got the clear bit here in the middle. Uh, as you can see, you do have his uh, weapons that can store, so you can fold them up like that. They can peg in there at the top. You don't necessarily have to have it on there. I'm going to remove it. You can see that he's got a kind of smoky, uh, clear bunch of windows on there you can see though that he does have a lot of gap right down there come around here to the bottom uh, i don't know the instructions don't actually show his other weapon storage but you can tab these down on uh, the kind of slots on his arms and his thighs and it does still roll perfectly fine when you have it out there you, you just have to make sure that you get that lined up properly and uh, i guess i could have showed that while i had him tabbed in there so push that all the way in bring this in and tab that down there and when you do have it he still rolls perfectly fine he does uh, you can see have a little bit of uh, kind of undercarriage but it doesn't interfere with anything you can see the, the wheels roll very nicely still so uh, removing those and setting those off to the side and or flipping it down you can see that you got a lot of gap right here in between his legs and that carries all the way through to the actual windshield that doesn't bother me too much uh, the smokiness of it does kind of hide some of it I, I probably would have liked it if it was a little bit darker but it's really not that bad uh, for his accessories, you do have this little, I don't even know what you really call this. It, it's some kind of a, a handgun, and I'll show this in his uh, robot mode, but you've got a lot of uh, barrels kind of going around there, which looks kind of neat. It's just done in this sort of tannish drab plastic. Good molded detail on there, though, that just the coloring is really kind of boring. Uh, and then he comes with a beating stick, so it, to punish his enemies, he can beat him with his little billy club right there. So you do have those, and then he also does come with a gun which is kind of interesting because it's just like a, a regular handgun but uh, again nice mold of detail both of these actually can peg on his thighs which is a nice weapon storage for him so setting those off to the side but vehicle mode wise pretty nice uh, very light because as you can see there isn't really a lot to it and unfortunately the only vehicle or transformer in vehicle mode that i have is the uh, rid blur uh, but you can see that uh, they are roughly the same size so as i mentioned he is a deluxe size figure so that makes sense now his transformation is really quite simple what you do is just kind of lift these doors up and then detach the back, the back section right there and then just hinge that up kind of away from the body just like that go ahead and take the uh, side doors these are going to tuck in just like that and just kind of leave this right there for right now come around here to the legs you split them right down the middle then rotate right up here you get this little off-white thigh piece and then you got the rest of the uh, thigh kind of down there so you want to rotate it at that cut and then spin this around just like so you can then hinge this 
back and uh, create a little dynamic of a, a foot sort of thing there. Do that on this side as well. Rotate that around. Bring that around. You can then hinge this little piece out just like that. It, it doesn't really make much of a heel. It just kind of gives them some extra detail for the leg. Then come down here to these arms. Bring these out around the side here and then just pull these arms out just like that. Do that on this side as well. This whole section will hinge up and then you to get it to go all the way down, you got a little hinge joint right here that you can see flexes on a little pivot point. To get it in the vehicle mode, you have to hinge it out like that. For robot mode though, you wanna straighten it out right down there. So bring those both up just like so. We're gonna straighten that out. Rotate these arms around. Do that on this side, spin these pieces around just like so on his shoulder, then take this entire section, fold this down, that sits into place. This section right here, you just collapse along the back, and there you have Barricade in his robot mode. But this guy actually looks pretty darn cool. I mean, he's kinda squat and a little chunky looking, but all in all, he's not bad. As you can see by the transformation, he definitely is simple. But again, much like a lot of the newer kind of simplified Transformers, I really feel Hasbro has kind of hit in a stride with it. And they're able to get a really good look for the figure in a very simple transformation. Now, obviously, because we haven't seen the movie, we're not 100% certain, and I'm not certain if this is ultimately how he's going to look to really know if it's screen accurate. But in terms of the, the just toy itself, I think he looks pretty decent. Now, as you can see, you can attach this weird gun thing to his hand. Uh, it can attach to either hand. On the bottom section here are a whole bunch of little kind of honeycomb sort of gaps. Uh, you got this little kind of tabbing bit right here that that literally just comes underneath and slots in there, pegs in kind of, and then you wrap this around just like that. You can do that on either hand as you got that same kind of honeycomb pattern underneath there. So it's your personal preference, really. I, I think that's actually a kind of cool looking weapon. Uh, it is sort of similar to the kind of saw blade that he had in the fact that, you know, it's, it's a round kind of thing around his hand itself. And then as I talked about, you can also attach his little beaten stick to the side here. You got that little uh, tab section right there. You got that little tab right on the side of the uh, shaft itself. You can just peg that in there. And then you also have his gun uh, that you can peg in there. Uh, you can have him hold both of these. Uh, well, you can drop them. You, you can always do that. Uh, you can have him hold that really nicely. Uh, because it it's a little bit strange because you got a round hole and a square peg but it you know it fits in there and you can have something like that and again you can have him hold his beating stick so you can go around I'm gonna beat you and then when I'm done beating you I'm gonna shoot you so you can do that but I like that I like that it also has storage options for him uh, that's really kind of cool so setting these off to the side um, I, I guess the most ugly part would be this he's got a huge giant backpack but at least it compresses very nicely. Uh, it, but it is just there. I, I do kind of wish that there was a way that uh, some of the other stuff could fold in. But at least it's fairly flat to the figure. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, coming in to take a closer look at the head sculpt. And really just uh, the rest of the up close details. I love the fact that he's got these two eye thing. You can see you got two little red bits of paint there on that side and on that side. So it's like he's got four eyes. Uh, the head sculpt looks really good. It's a little hard to see because it's dark, but it's a decent sculpt. You can also see you got a little Decepticon logo right there in the center crest. Again, real nice molded detail here throughout the chest uh, where this piece comes down and kind of fills in. You got that little extra detail down here in his abdomen. Really nice. Uh, I also really love you have the uh, protect kind of knuckle puncher. So, and I like how it's actually uh, reverse. So when he punches you, it's going to say protect on there. So that's actually kind of cool. And then the other one says serve. So you got uh, serve and protect. So he can serve that up to you pretty funny though but again real nice detail throughout the rest of the thing very simple but uh, overall really very very cool now he is pretty small that was one thing that kind of threw me uh, honestly at first i didn't expect him to be as small as he is but setting him there and then bringing in some figures for comparison here is next to the movie the best version of bumblebee which is the uh, dark of the moon version 
Uh, and as you can see, uh, Bumblebee now towers over him, at least at the head. Uh, obviously, this is a you know earlier figure, and the deluxe figures were a little bit bigger. But even looking at a newer, more modern one, here he is with Trigger Happy, and, and you can see that he's even taller than him at the head. Obviously, the little shoulder pieces extend and makes him a little bit bigger, and... Uh, at those shoulder pieces, they're about the same height, but it's the head that really does kind of sit a lot lower. You know, also his, his torso is kind of squat there. I did get the uh, Premier Edition version of Bumblebee, so obviously when I do a review of that, even though that's just an Age of Extinction version, I'll bring out Barricade for a comparison to that guy. Now the transformation back, first what you want to do is take the whole chest section, rotate that up just like that. Come around here, then you can spin these arms around Get these out of the way and then rotate this whole section down. You also have this little hinge. I guess you can spin these around just kind of get these out of the way and then rotate the uh, arms at that bicep down so that the little tab section here is facing towards the bottom. You can also then rotate the fists around. That was something that I forgot to show, but it's just rotating and getting it around. Uh, and then you got that little hinge deep in there. As you bring that down, Push this whole section back and you'll see that it kind of shifts. Get this kind of out of the way. This whole section here will shift towards the back. And that lets you then keep that up there. That lets you then bring all this inside just like that. Keep that arm straight. And then on the inside here is a little tab that fit into one of those little grooves. So just bring this in and give that a nice little push that locks that into place. You can take this section, rotate this all the way around and just set it there for right now. So again, keep this out, bring this down, bring this little hinge section back so you better fly that arm backward like that, getting it out of the way, rotate that arm around, tuck this up and in, rotate the fist, and then you bring this on the to the inside here again, get that, did I, there we go around there bring this up and around push the uh, forearm along the uh, body so that you have the hands looking like this and the arms are collapsed along the chest spin this piece around just like that kind of sit that right there for right now you can then if you want to open up uh, this section bring that around take these little feet kind of straighten these out like that bring the feet down and then bring this back section down just like so rotate here at the upper part of the thigh do that on this side as well. Bring this up. I'm trying to see, does that actually, no, that doesn't tab in or anything. So rotate that around, bring that around. These two little sections here will tab in kind of not really well. There's a little tab right there, but it, they're very short tabs. So it doesn't really seem like it does a tremendous amount. So just kind of flex that right there. Then bring this back section down, keep those little doors out and you bring this down like so. Get this on that side, bring that in, bring this piece up, and then the uh, little side panels here actually have little slots on the outer side of the arms that when you squeeze everything together, that'll lock that into place, bring that there, and there you have Barricade back in his police car mode. Again, overall, Fairly simple transformation, but the end results are pretty cool. The vehicle mode here really does look neat. And it has, like I said, a bit of a kind of muscle car sort of look to it. Kind of like a Mustang. I don't know if that's ultimately what he's supposed to be, but it does look pretty cool. As you can see with the transformation, it is simple, but the robot mode that results is pretty good looking. Again, whether or not that's how he actually looks in the film remains to be seen, but just... As a toy, I think this is pretty cool. Is it the best version of Bar Barricade that we've ever gotten? No, I still think that the Human Alliance one definitely is. But Barricade is a character that has lasted a lot of Michael Bay movies. And it's cool to see him come back now in The Last Night. But that's it. That's my look at the premiere edition of the new Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Barricade. He will be hitting various retail locations fairly soon. So if you're looking for him, Good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, you can keep your eyes on Big Bad Toy Store. I'll put a link down in the video description where you can check out availability on this as well as the rest of the upcoming Transformers The Last Night action figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomus. Don't forget that if you like this video, to please hit that thumbs up button. 
it goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video and you never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, do me a real quick favor and click on that bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other.